Hey everybody, how's it going today? Um, been doing a little research on harp today. I know I've been getting on this stuff a lot, but it just really interests me and, and um, everybody else seems to think that it has a lot to do with what's going on in the world at the moment, so I thought, what the heck, I'll take a look. I'll jump on Google Earth. I'll look up a few different names in a few different places and some latitudes and longitudes and all this good stuff, and here I'll show you what I come up with. Let's see, we'll start our tour right here at my house in good old Lee County, Illinois. Always got my home marked on Google Earth so I can go home fast and click my red shoes together and boom, there I am, there's my house. Okay, so we'll back out of Amboy here. Back out of Amboy, back out of Lee County. I'm back out of Illinois. Okay, here we go. Let's see, where should we go first? I guess the first place I should take you is to the Gakona Harp in Alaska. This is where Jesse Ventura was on TV the other day. Well, it was a few months ago actually that he made this thing, but I just saw it myself. Um, this is where he went. Let's see, I'll drop us in here right in front so you can see it's the same exact place he was looking at. We'll be able to look right up the driveway. Gotta love Google Earth. Well, you can look at just about anything you want to with this bugger. So there's that building. There's that building Jesse Ventura was checking out um, when he was in, in Alaska. I'll back out of the street view so I can give you a little tour around the facility. Since they don't let people tour it when they want to, we have to go in and take a look at it ourselves. So here's this main building you can see from the road. It's a great big monstrous thing. Not sure. Uh, I'm sure they have some kind of energy uh, production in this facility, I would assume, since they're running this this big system off of it. But here, I'll take you up here a little ways and show you. This is their antenna array in Gakona. Boy, that's a big old son of a gun, ain't it? It's funny how it seems like every harp or ionospheric heater type of place I could find on the internet always, always has something blocked out. See, you can't see where these roads go over here. You can't see where what this stuff is here. Every time you find one of these facilities, they got something blocked out. So that's your harp. You see all these funny lines, how they got this in Alaska. It's funny how Alaska's like that. They got all kinds of stuff blocked out. So I guess the next place to go would be the Hippus Ionosphere Keter. And that is right here in um, near Pleasant Valley in Alaska. I'll beam you right down here again, and you can see that this has got an array of antennas. This is a little different. Now, this is the one they were talking about is being used to heat up the ionosphere. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works, but I have a feeling one of these two heats the ionosphere up to make a mirror out of it, and then the other one shoots the stuff off of it to bounce back to Earth to do whatever they want to do. So. This is definitely, you can see there's some goofy looking lines here. We got some antennas. Here's an antenna, there's an antenna, there's an antenna. So lots of different harp antennas, or, you know, uh, hippus antennas in this particular case. So there's two of them that I found real quick in Alaska. Well, let's see, I'll uh, see where I'll take you next. Oh, let's check out the Invercargill New Zealand highest ionospheric heater. All right, I checked this one out. I found this one in, uh, in Oh, I guess I was in Wikipedia looking up harp. And they gave you several places to go to check stuff out. So I cruised around Invercargill, New Zealand. Um, see, you can see the, the shadow of the antennas here. This looks like the array that I've seen uh, as an early style array, is, or what they called it an early style. This particular imagery is in 2009, so it's fairly up to date for, for uh, Google. And as you can see, if you move around a little bit, you got some other facilities here around. Now, see, I don't know where they're getting the power for this. This is what this is what's kind of confusing to me, and I'm starting to make some assumptions here. Now, I know Tesla did a lot of work with remote electricity. He would take electricity and find a way to send it from one spot to another spot without a wire. And I'm starting to question whether or not this has something to do with that system. Are they beaming electricity to these antennas to shoot somewhere else from another facility? Or what are they doing? So, uh, you know, when I first put in the coordinates for this one here in, in Inger, Invercargill, it actually took me directly to the middle of this clump of trees. 
Isn't that funny? It seems like a few of these ones I put on here take me to a funny spot. So let's see, what's the next one? There you go, you see the ionospheric heater in New Zealand, right there. Okay, now let's go to the, the Showa Super Darn. This is Japanese stuff here. This is in Antarctica. So you can see, I'll back out, so you can see where I'm at here. See, right on the bottom of the world. This is the Showa Super Darn. It is also an atmospheric heater, and I believe it's owned by Japan, or run by a Japanese group, anyways. Um, it's pretty hard to see anything in this picture because they've got her they've got her blocked out pretty good but you can see there's definitely a large facility of some type right here in um, Antarctica there's all kinds of vehicles and I'm sure there's some type of an antenna array here somewhere of course we've got odd clouding and odd coverage as usual you can see there's all kinds of equipment of some sort here so I did the best I could on this one, but like I said, unfortunately, I really couldn't see any type of antenna array here. So, I don't know, it almost looks like a mining operation of some sort, but this is the coordinates they gave me in the Wikipedia, so that's why I came here. So that's another one. Uh, let's see, this one's Sinai. This one's owned by South Africa. Okay, now this is also, I'm going to back out again so you can see. You see the funny looking blue spot? This is also located in... Antarctica. Okay, zoom back down here to where I got my pin on this funny looking blue spot. Sinai, South Africa is what they said on, Wiki, on Wikipedia. And I zoom right in there real close and you're going to see it just like I did. A whole bunch of antennas just like the one I've seen in other places. Now see, this is Google Earth. This, is, uh, this image is from 2006. So obviously this has been here for a while. God only knows what's actually there now. Um, so that's Sinai. Let's see what else. What else did we have? I showed you Hippus, Sinai, Harp, and Gacona. Oh, Inver Cargill. I guess that's about all of them I've got for the moment. But I just wanted to show you. You know, that's several. That's several cases where you can obviously see antenna arrays. Now, like I said, this this show a super darn they're talking about here. I cannot seem to find an antenna array around this place but I, that doesn't mean anything I know that's still you know they still have what's this a big loop now see here's a big road or a loop of some sort goes out here with two loops almost looks like a racetrack when they do that I know that's not what it is but just saying that's what it reminds me. oh no is that a, a river that must be a way for them to transport something so anyways yeah, I don't want to get over my time limit here because if I go too long, it takes. It's really hard for me to upload stuff. I've got issues with that. Not quite as good with a computer as some of these other guys are. So, but yeah. Um, so there's definitely stuff going on down here in Antarctica. There's some kind of an antenna array here in, at the Showa site. I don't. I don't know where it's at, but. Anyways, there's a there's another piece to the puzzle, guys. Uh, anybody else knows anything about any odd? Uh, antenna arrays let me know because I'm gonna keep doing coverage on this stuff you know I'll keep looking it up I'll keep going farther I'll see how much I can find out and when I find more antennas I'll take more pictures and I'll put them up on here it's just just something that's drawn my interest and other people are looking at it too so I thought I'd pop it up there alright have a good day guys God bless good luck find anything yourself